We're sweating now yeah. and we're back because we're so excited. More notes. More notes. We have the equation that we just identified all the pieces to a second ago. Y equals negative 3x plus 4. So step number uno is put a box around your Y intercept, which is right there. Make sure you put the sign with it. Yes. That is a positive 4, so I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to put a dot right there. Thank you. Beautiful. Goodness. All righty, it worked. It worked. <laughs> now, we're going to use our slope next. If you'll notice, this is a negative slope. Miss Vincent is going to write up some notes because she writes better than I do. Let's just be honest. And I like to talk, so I'll just do the talking. But what we're going to do is when you have a negative slope, you're always going to be counting down first, then you're going to be going right. Okay? But you always have to remember, check it before you write an answer because you've got to put that negative in there. All right? If it so happens that this number is positive, then you're going to start and you're going to count up and then to the right, okay? I think something that I left out is, where do you start counting, Mrs. Voss? Well, you start counting at the y-intercept, whatever that is, that's your starting point, okay? So at this point, we have a negative three slope. But if you have a number here and there's not a fraction, a one goes underneath it because negative 3 and negative 3 over 1 are the same exact thing, all right? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your finger or your pencil tip or whatever you want to do right here at that positive 4. It's a negative slope, so which way am I going first, Ms. Vincent? Down. Exactly. So I'm going to go down. 1, 2, 3. And what's my run? 1. And I go right, and I put a dot right there. Okay. Beautiful. So, as a matter of fact, I can count it again because your slope is the same between any two points on a line. It never, it's not going to change. So let's go again. We're going to go down three. One, two, three. And we're going to go over one, okay? So then we're going to come over here and grab our line. Go ahead, Miss Benson. And we're going to draw that line oh. touching, oh well, kind of. <laughs> It's close. pretty close. <laughs> All three of those points, okay? That makes this line a negative slope, and you have just graphed this equation. Do you feel like big boys and girls? Bravo. You should, because you are. Algebra, folks, this is algebra. 